The idea is to look at improved seeds that will increase the yield. His time before the vetting committee of parliament recently lasted for many hours. He would also be the only ministerial appointee to receive an overwhelming endorsement from NDC MPs, despite the party's directive against approving the new ministers. Today, you, you don't trust No, me. I'm asking a question that, but can you convince me? You should be testifying on my credibility. Yes. No, you. it's not about credibility. Hey, I... But the former minister of state in charge of national security is, in the news, not related to plants and animals and the ministry he now heads. But because of these comments. Brian A. Champon did not mince words when he mounted the podium and addressed a charged NPP crowd. As expected, some members of the opposition NDC have taken him on, describing the comments as reckless. Communications officer of the party, Sami Jemfi, says if Brian and his ilk are motivated by getting away with the evil they perpetrated during the Ayawasu West Wogan by elections and the 2020 elections, then they are surely mistaken, for it will not be business as usual. Notice is hereby served. Ningo Prom Prom MP Sam George called on their supporters to ignore the rantings of scarecrows and asked if the party can go back to their old days, adding, We are children of a revolution. Can we call these imposters out and dare them to try? National organizer of the NDC Joseph Yamin also had a response. If it's about using force, intimidation, you don't have what it is. You can have the, the, the national security at your disposal. But hey, my friend, how many are they? The masses are stronger than the military anywhere in this world. For political analysts, the comments should be viewed as a national security matter. Political analyst Jonathan Asantiotri wants the Peace Council to intervene. When you speak like this on a public platform, are you inciting us to go to war? And believe you me, when we go to war, nobody is going to gain. I will expect the Christian Council, all noble-minded people in this country, to call into order. Senior political science lecturer at the Kwame Krumah University of Science and Technology wants Ghanaians to condemn the comments. Wherever it has happened, I wanted had happened, it did not start with a knife and, and, and guns. This is how it starts. It start and you keep on uh, building the tension. Such a person, should, an action should be taken. I mean, if you get him out of uh, whatever position he's given, he should be kicked out of the place. Such people are not to come in and come and incite people. What we want is employment. What we want is security. Not come and stand there to incite people, to incite the youth who are already unemployed. Who knows how bitter they are. Do you know where their bitterness is hidden? Do you know what you can say and you trigger what? Pressure is now mounting on the Peace Council and other faith-based organizations and civil society groups to speak up against comments that have been described as insightful and reckless.